it's Pupmeister, and today we are going to be making a water elevator. Why? Because in my last video, we went and in search of the stronghold, which, of course, you can see I have found. However, let's look up that hole where we dug down from. As you can see, the stronghold was super deep. In fact, I think it's level 63 up at the top, and we are at minus 29. So we are basically looking at, at about 100 blocks down. So it's quite a ways. And... If I were just to make steps going straight out, I'm on a little island, so I would appear like in the river or in the ocean somewhere. So I thought, well, why don't we just do a spiral staircase? Yeah, because do you really want to do this like for a hundred blocks? You know how long that's going to take? You're going to get dizzy going up. Like, look, we haven't even gone anywhere, and it just seems like we've been going around and around in circles forever already. So, what is the answer? Well, the answer is a water elevator, and I'm going to show you how quick you can get up and down. Because I do have another portal in here now, uh, which I said I was going to do when I in the video where I found this. But the problem is, it takes me from home here very quickly, which is great. But this is really the only portal in this area of the map. So if I wanted to actually go to this area, well, I'm stuck 100 blocks down. <laughs> so I need to get up there much quicker. So this is is what we're going to do. Um, because of the way I found it, and I dug down two at a time, it's kind of too deep, this hole. And I don't mean too deep as in, my, that's really deep. But I mean it's too wide, too wide. The blocks are too wide. And this is, um, and it's kind of right in the middle of this wall, <laughs> as it so happened. So this is not the best. I could make it work if I really wanted to. Um, maybe dig another thing out here, or whatever. But I think a better route is to make the elevator right here instead. Okay? And what you want to do is go too deep. Well, that's going to be a problem. So let's just block this off because I don't think is going to be a problem. No, I can still come in this side. I'm just going to leave that door there. I don't think we need it closed. And now what you want to do is you're going to be digging up. Okay, so I'm just digging like two blocks up just to sort of get it started. And what we're going to do now is you actually want to dig down from the top. So what you need are the coordinates of where you are, okay? So we are 178 and 2272. So, I mean, you could keep an eye on, okay, I'm at minus 29. So that'll tell you how far you have to go. But the important coordinates are 178, as you can see, and 22. 72. And then once you've written that down, come on over here and do the same thing. So because we're basically in the same line, it's still 178, but now it's 2274. Okay? So that is the first step to creating the water elevator. So now, Let's build up, because <laughs> it's all we have at the moment, to the top, and we will continue from there. 
Okay, we finally made it up to the top of this hole. Man, oh man. So, I have a feeling this is going to be... Well, you know what? I should see. I should look at the coordinates first. So we want 178. Okay, so right here. And we want 2272. Right here, right by the water. Look how close. That's, whew. And this is why you do this as well, because you need to see where you are on the surface as well, because you didn't want to come up under there. So this is where we want 178 and 2272. And then the other one is right there. Okay, so we are a little bit in the water. So we're going to have to just kind of block it off here. And um, I could move it down there, but I think it'd be easier just to do this. Because 178 and 2274 is right here. Okay? And 22... 72 is right here. And why I'm using a map to dig, I do not know. Okay, so we need to get our shovel out here. So these are our two spots right here. And we can build this out a little bit. So when it's done, you know, we're, we're on land. And we pretty much are still anyway. So let us start digging. Now, you always have to be a little careful because you are digging straight down here. If you wanted to be safe, because you're doing it just two blocks, like one block separates you from the other um, hole that you want to dig, you could, from the top, start digging three deep. You could just do this. And this way, Now you can hear some of the squids dying there. This way, you know, you can go maybe two at a time. Just like that. Maybe you'll get some goodies on the way down. Oh, -ho, look at this. We have some water. Let's check this out. Wow, isn't that bizarre? Just like a tiny little water reservoir, like that doesn't even attach to anything. Like, isn't that weird? Okay, so now that we've blocked it off. Oh, <laughs> more water. Okay, this might not be as easy as we are hoping that it might be. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, this is... Okay, so where's the water? Right there. So let's get rid of that. And... We're going down the side here. Now, of course, one of our holes are going to be here. And the other one is going to be here. So... Let's, and I, I think I've been down there through one of the other caves that we looked at. So let's just block it off and keep on digging, just like that. And anything that you come across like that, just block it off. It doesn't really matter as long as there is nothing in the way of your holes and you can like do the half thing go half on this block half on that block and then just take down the third one that's probably the easiest thing to do and the safest because we're all about safety here aren't we <laughs> okay so and we'll just keep on digging 
when I get to the bottom, I'll continue. Now, because we are in the stronghold, <laughs> yes, we might get lovely silverfish coming out and attacking us every once in a while if we break the wrong block. But, needless to say, we must almost be there. Oh, and there's another one. Gotcha. And where are we here? Oh, okay. Gotcha. We're on the side of the stairs. Now there was, now that I'm looking, these stairs went nowhere. So there's no point. It doesn't matter. I can just block this off because it's a stairwell to nowhere. So I'm just going to block that off. And then anywhere we need to, we'll just block the stairwell off. One, two, three. And this is extra. And there we go. We are down where we need to be. And there's our two entrances. So I'm just going to use this chest in the stronghold to show you what you're going to need. You're going to need one soul sand, one magma block, some signs, one bucket of water or two buckets of water, depending on how far away from water you are. I have a ton of it up there, so I really only need one bucket. I can refill it. You're going to need a bunch of kelp, uh, enough kelp to stretch from the bottom to the very top of where you want to go. Two stacks is enough for me. And then uh, if you want to build a tiny little house up top, you might want some doors, some windows, some building blocks. That's completely up to you. You can ignore the iron armor here. That just happened to be in the chest. So let's get started. So if you decided to do this little trick, the next thing you want to do is put a couple signs down. So one there and one there. And what that's going to do is when the water starts pouring down, it's going to prevent it from like spilling out all over the place but still allows you to walk right in. So next step, we want to build straight up in the middle because remember we want two separate elevators, not a three wide deal. So up we go. And of course you could have built these separately, but in this case, I just think, you know, going three down, is would was probably the fastest than digging two completely separate holes but it's completely up to you okay so now we have two completely separate holes here and the next step is to pour down some water so let's get some water which one should we do first let's do this one first okay so the water is going down, down, down. And since I have water right here, I can do both, just like that. And refill my bucket to boot. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is swim down. And you might as well swim with speed so you don't drown. <laughs> Depends how far you have to go, really. All right, and here we are. Okay, and as you can see, the signs keep the water from flowing out. So, the next thing we're going to do is, and you're probably, you know what, now that I'm thinking of it, you're probably going to need two more signs to put, 
right there because our next step is to put in the kelp and what the kelp does is it makes every single water block a source block so if this water block becomes a source block it will probably pour right over the bottom sign and come on out so let's get our kelp ready and i'll have it side by side because we're just basically going to be doing this i'm holding the right click button while i'm holding the space bar to move upwards and if you're really deep and you don't have respiration three or something like that, you're going to have to dig into the wall for a moment to get more air if that's the case for you. All right, so we've done it. So the next thing we need to do is get our kelp back. <laughs> so I'm going to dive back down, or actually, what do I have here? I've got, no, I don't have enough to do a second hole. But if I would have collected enough, I could have just done the second hole and then broke all the kelp at the same time. However, that is not what I did. So, back down we swim. And here we are. Okay, and then you just have to basically break the bottom one. And it'll all go up. It'll all float up. See, now I just want to show you, see, when this is a source block and you don't have that, see? See how it's now the water is going everywhere? So that's why we have two, because when they're source blocks, they will start flowing from right where they are. So the next thing you want to do is dig one hole there, and since we want to... Um, we're probably going to want to come down. The magma block creates bubbles that pull you down. See how all the kelp is being pulled down here? And I don't want it to get destroyed on the, on the magma block, so... Did you see how all that kelp got pulled down? All right, so now we want to do the exact same thing, but over here. So let's get, whoops, let's get our kelp ready. We'll do the two stacks just to be safe. And then up we go, just like before, until we reach the top. And there we are. Okay. So here, see how we're getting pulled down? It's, and I'm not swimming at all. I'm just sitting here doing nothing. And it's pulling me straight down. And out we come. And that is exactly how the elevator works. Now, you can be swimming down and go even faster. And of course, it all depends, you know, how deep you are. How, how deep are you making this? So on the other side, we want to dig one down. And we want to put the soul sand. Because soul sand, unlike the magma block, pushes bubbles up magma pulls it down okay so let's go in and look how fast we're moving up right up to the top just like that okay and you can tell with the bubbles here that this is going up and this is going down and of course you can make nice signs showing up and down and all that kind of stuff. So let's test this side again. And we can get rid of our kelp because now we are done. We don't need that anymore. But let's try swimming down at the same time. 
this time and see how fast we can go. You go a little faster, but not too much faster. And you'll get one quick smack on the bottom for hitting the magma block. But that is basically how it operates. And then, like I said, you can have some signs. You can place one here. And this can say down. And then one over here. And this can say up. And you can get rid of this. And then you can, like, I don't know, do something like that. Now, down here, you're done. Because, I mean, you're the only one down here. <laughs> so you don't really need to worry about villagers walking in here um, or anything like that. So up we go. And let's deal with the top part of our elevator. So the only thing you have to figure out at this point is which way do you want these elevators facing? Do you want to come out this way? Or do you want to come out this way? Um, now here's the other hole. I'm going to just block that off so I don't like, whoops, and that'll be the end of me. So. I think in this particular case, I'm going to come out this way. So let's take some of these away. I'm going to add these here and just make this a little um, further out. And now I'm going to create the base. And I'm going to go two out because I'm going to put a door here. And I want to be able to just kind of come out but not be out, if you know what I'm saying. And if you wanted to, you could actually put a door in the center and just have one door. And then just have this little space here, which I think in this case I'm going to do. You could do two separate doors, so you have to cut them out to go back in if you so desire. Did I leave my glass down there? I think I did. All right, well, now that we have a working elevator, pretty much, it's a lot faster to go down and get what you need. All right, so I'm going to put um, a bunch of glass everywhere where I can kind of see. And then, let's see, yeah, why not? Put glass here. I'm gonna even put glass here. And then in all the corners, where I can't really see out, or here, I've got the middle going on. I'm just gonna do that. And then, I can just put one more level for the roof. Okay, so I just got myself some more blocks here, and we'll finish this off. Now, if you want to be super safe, you can make some slabs and put them on top as your top level. Um, you know, because then nothing will spawn. Of course, if you do something like this, nothing will spawn either. So... It's for me, <laughs> I just feel it's a lot easier just to do that than make slabs about it. Okay, our doors are in. So now, and you could actually, you know, make this one bigger. If you want a little more room to move around in in here, you can certainly do that. In fact, you could probably... even do this whoops open this up and block this nothing's coming in here you can still open and go in see so now you've got a two 
a two by three area that you can move around in. If you come out, you can, you know, go back in or whatever. Um, so the only other thing, I of course would maybe put a torch here, or if you have like some glowstone or whatever, you could put that here and that would light everything up. And maybe I'll do that in the future, but for now I just have torches, which is just fine. And you don't really need an up or down here. Um, you can tell which is up by that. But if you wanted to, you could put, instead of having a window here, you could put two more signs that tell you which is in and out. Okay, so just put that in there. Up. Another one here. Down. And there you go. So now you know which is which. And you can make it so you have a gate. You can use a gate here as well. This is just like something super simple. And like I said, you don't even need two doors. Just for fun, <laughs> let's change our design. I forgot I had... Um, so touch on my axe. That's handy for the glass. Okay. And then for here, let's just put... <laughs> there we go. And then we only need one door in the middle. Just like that. And then maybe we can put some torches out here. And there we go. Now doing it the way I just did it, now we're back to a one square with a one. But if you broke this out, and you know what? Just to make things more, I don't know, uniform. Let's call it uniform. We'll do this. And more glass, more glass, 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 glass. And there you go. So you can keep the door here, or I prefer to move the door out here like that. Okay, and then we can put our torches back. And there we go. I like this design better. You know, you don't need more than one door here if if you are choosing to have both elevators inside here and you don't want separate entrances for them. If that's the case, then you'll definitely want two doors and do that kind of thing. One other thing I forgot to mention is when you are going up or down the water elevators, you don't have to worry about running out of air because the bubbles that are that are working to move you up and down are actually keeping you alive as far as air is concerned. So you will not lose air going up or down. So once it's in, doesn't matter how deep it is or whether you have respiration on or not, you won't die from lack of oxygen okay and now we have our little house here and if you wanted you could make it bigger you could make it a little base um, you know you can have chests and your crafting table and whatever you need this might just be an elevator to a really deep cavern that you found um, that you want to go back into over and over again um, or stuff like that. So water elevators are very useful. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned something or given you some ideas. And until next time, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.